Hi, I'm so happy to be back. It's been, what, eight months since I've done a video. Oh my gosh, I'm such a procrastinator. I don't know what my deal is. This video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to blend the Mint by Michelle decoupage paper onto a piece of furniture. And I did record th um, the actual putting of the decoupage paper onto the piece of furniture, but somehow it got deleted off my phone. So I'll do another video and show you guys how to put, how I put decoupage paper onto furniture, but I will also link below the um, YouTube channel for Mint by Michelle. To remove excess paper from the edges, take a sanding sponge or a piece of 500 grit sandpaper after the paper is dry and sand, pushing the paper away from the edges. But at any rate, I recorded it and it was the first piece that I'd ever done with the decoupage paper. I screwed up a little bit, but I was able to fix it. And I was gonna actually show you how I screwed up, what I did and how I fixed it. And somehow it all ended up gone. I don't know what happened, but um, this piece uh, turned out really good and I'm really happy with it and it's gone already, it's already sold. But, um, I found it pretty easy to blend. And I think that you'll, if you just pick up a couple paint brushes and just try it, you'll see what I mean. It's not that hard, it's pretty fun. So anyway, we're gonna get going and we'll, um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, this is what the piece looks like before I got started. I'm using Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis Paint. I chose the colors Iron Oxide, Chocolate, and Antique Villa. The brush I'm using is the Wise Owl 1.5 inch angled brush. I only ended up using the, this brush for the whole entire project. Wiping it off on a paper towel between colors. I'm going for a rustic look on this and I don't mind the colors mixing a bit on my brush. It gives it more variation of color tones. I also decided to paint the Texas Longhorn around the edges of the paper to make the design go all the way to the edge of the dresser. As you can see, I'm just taking my paintbrush and pouncing the color into the dresser. I decided to speed up the recording a little bit on this so that you didn't have to watch me paint all day. I really can't paint this fast. And you can see I'm just switching between colors until I get the color tones that I really like that match the steer. Don't be afraid to blend down into the paper. It will blur the lines of the paper so that you can't see where the paper ends and the dresser begins. I was having so much fun blending this piece, I decided to do both sides also and kind of make the paper look like it went all the way around the entire dresser. You don't have to do that. You can paint the dresser sides just one color, but 
I think it's so much fun to play with this paint and I think you'll see that when you start working on one. sun is always shining right people are smiling they can play as you're pouncing in the paint if it starts to dry out a little bit you can always spray with a little bit of water to get the paint moving again nothing's growing where your heart is fire but baby i bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without Once it dried, I sealed it with two coats of matte varnish. You are in the Spokane area or planning to be in the Spokane area. I'd love it if you'd swing by. I am at 100 North Elk Road in Spokane Valley, Washington. Down in the description box, I will have links to all my stuff and where you can find the papers and where you can find the wise out paint and brushes and everything. So I'll see you next time and I promise it won't be eight months. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notification when I do another video. By the way, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram also. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.